Good morning, Facebook, YouTube. This is James Justine Dream here again. Uh, we bought this trailer about probably about a month and a half ago. What we're going to use it as is our backup trailer. We're going to uh, upfit it with some of our older equipment. And if our other van goes down, we're going to have uh, a backup trailer. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, maybe something that some of you guys may consider uh, if you're not ready to buy another van. Um, it's just a cost-effective way if you have older equipment to have a backup and we know um, as cleaners it's not if it's gonna break it's when it's gonna break you're gonna have certain issues so we are making a backup to uh, cover us in those times and uh, should be pretty interesting uh, check it out so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take everything and kind of make accountability of it um, just started putting certain things out here that we may need uh, this is kind of a learn as you go, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to need. Some of our old equipment in here. The first thing we're going to do is clean it off. And I'm going to color paint it, color match it. We want it to look good in there. We're going to put some lights in here. And um, let's see what we got. Let's show you the side. I'm actually going to break my machine apart. It's pretty dirty from the last install. We're going to paint it all black. We're just going to put some plastic paint on this all black and then we will start mounting as we get it cleaned up. It's pretty dirty now, but it should come out pretty great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There we go, guys. Big project. Uh, I think I finally got everything taken out. That's my blower, my tray. I'm gonna clean all this off. And I'm gonna paint a lot of it because I wanted to look best. I totally dismantled the machine that I have. Um, here we go. My pump, took the motor off. Seems like a lot, but it's a uh, actually pretty simple machine. All of them work together. I mean, just a, the same. They just have newer components on it. So we'll show you after we get it cleaned up and we're going to spray paint it. Got to clean out my trailer. And we're going to put some flooring in it and we'll start putting it back together. All right, we'll get back with you people. Okay guys, so we got everything cleaned up and now we're gonna go to the next step. We're gonna use some, it's actually some rubber floor. Got it at Home Depot. It's a little bit different, but I thought I might, it's kind of jazzy color. Actually it was a little cheaper than the black vinyl flooring that I wanted. Um, it's a little bit cheaper. We're gonna put it on with some Roberts 2310 uh, vinyl floor adhesive. Um, just to make sure that it stays down and um, we're gonna give you a little footage of it so I'm sorry it's very very hot out here uh, I guess that's why I probably hadn't got this done yet so um, just take a look at us and um, we'll get back with you shortly all right
result. So what we did was we caged in our um, our fresh water tank. Um, as the as the um, trailer moves, I didn't want it to be able to fall. You know what I'm saying? We'll set it steady. I'm probably put a wrap around here to hold it in place. But um, other than that, it's not coming out. And what we did was we took a two by four and we ground it in and then we took uh, just two metal pieces. I actually had to make them longer. So I put some screws in each one of them uh, to make it longer and we bolted it to the top, uh, which gives us a sturdy cage for our fresh water um, tank. Um, like I said, I'll bolt it in later and um, it'll be totally sturdy. Um, but just want to let like this so we can have some working when we get ready to hook the holes back to it. What we have here is our um, chemical. This is where our chemical tank is going. And um, that's that's the beginning of it. We're gonna work our way back. I'm gonna put a big hole here, and this is where our um, our um, propane as well as our gas line will be coming through. Um, we'll pull a hole over here, and this is where our um, our uh, power for the machine is gonna be coming through. And so um, we'll have them coming up, running through. I'll probably run through the board. That might be cool to keep them a little bit more sturdy. Um, and then we'll run them to the back because my propane is going to the back of the thing. Don't look at my thing, we're gonna fix that. And the gas is actually gotta go right to the machine, which is gonna be sitting here. And the power. So we're gonna put a big hole over here. We don't wanna run the gas in the power line through the same hole. Okay, great. That's what we got. All right, we're on it. Cool.